Hello guys, I'm ATP and for the first time on this channel I'm going to show you exactly how to code a trading bot directly in TradingView using PineScript, even if you are a complete beginner. We'll start with a simple system, automate buy and sell signals from a powerful indicator and then add custom stop losses and take profits. By the end of the video you will know how to create trading bots and how you can scale them into powerful tools. Also, if you stick around until the very end, I've got a special bonus waiting for you. Let's get started. For this example, the indicator we'll be using is the Purple Cloud, currently the best performing tool in our testing indicator series, with top results across several timeframes and assets. You can check out this information by yourself by going to the indicators ranking table available for free on my website, algotradepro.com. In short, the Purple Cloud is a trend-following indicator that dynamically adjusts to market conditions using a custom smoothing formula and signal logic. It is very simple to use because it prints the buy and sell entry triggers directly on your chart. The specific indicator you are watching isn't available on TradingView by default, but you can download the full code for free on my Discord server. Just head over to the free materials channel and there you'll find it. Then open up the note, copy the code and on TradingView click on the Pine editor, then on this arrow create new indicator, paste the code and save it. Finally click on the add to shards option and that's it. Now let's jump into the code and automate the purple cloud into a full strategy. The first step is again going to the Pine Editor tab, clicking on this arrow, create new, but this time let's click on strategy. And as you can see, the Pine Editor will display a default strategy based on the cross of two simple moving averages, a 14 period and a 28 period one. If you click on the Add to Shard option, Trading View will display it on your screen, where it only plots the entry signals on the entry candles and the results on the Strategy Tester tab. But as you can imagine, this is too basic and doesn't give us much information. So let's go again to the Strategies code and let's delete the long and short conditions. The first thing we need to do is to insert the Purple Clouds code into the strategy. It is a simple copy and paste. I'm going to copy it from the note on the Discord and paste it here. Done. In this part, you should just check if the version of the strategy and indicator codes are the same, because that's the only way it will work. In this case, both are version 6, the latest version of TradingView. Now, just to keep the code organized, I'm going to insert a comment here to mention that this part concerns the Purple Cloud code. This doesn't affect the code at all, it's just to visually keep everything organized. And below, I will do the same for the strategy's long and short conditions. Now, we have to define our long and short conditions, and for this indicator, this happens at the moment the indicator inserts the buy and sell labels on the chart, and therefore, we can just copy this part of the plots, here. First the buy condition, so let's copy it and paste it in front of the long condition, and then let's do the same for the short condition. Now you can click on save and update it on your chart. As you can see, we already have the purple cloud working as a trigger, and we can also go to the strategy inputs and modify the purple cloud settings which will change the strategy statistics. However, you can see that the results in the strategy tester tab are negative. This is because we do not have any stop loss or take profit defined and also because we have not inserted our number of contracts. Let's take care of that now. In the first line of the code, referring to the strategy, we'll include the initial capital input, so the initial value of our account, where I will put 10,000, and then the currency, which I will put in dollars. This way, our bot knows that we want the results in dollars. Then we'll put our default quantity type, which can be in contracts with the input strategy.fixed, in a specific value of dollars with the input strategy.cash, or in a percentage with strategy.% of equity, which is what I recommend. 
And finally, we can also define the value of this percentage with the input default quantity value, where I will put 2, meaning 2%. In other words, from now on, our bot will calculate the number of lots or contracts to use per trade based on 2% of our initial capital. To modify this, you can also go to the bot properties menu. And now we are only missing the stop loss and take profit parts. To define a stop loss and take profit, we are going to create two new input variables that will allow us to easily control these values without changing the code every time. For the stop loss, we will write this, where the default pip distance will be set to 50. And for the take profits, it's basically the same thing, but we will set a default pip distance of 100. This creates two fields where you can insert the stop loss and take profit values in pips. Next, we need to calculate the actual pip size according to the asset where we will apply the strategy. And for that, I usually like to use the formula get pip size, like this. This function calculates the pip size based on the symbol's minimum tick. It multiplies the minimum tick by 10 for forex pairs, since a pip is typically 10 times the minimum tick, and leaves it unchanged for other assets. And now we can create two var float variables to multiply our desired pip distance with the get pip size function. So the bot adjusts the pip distance automatically according to the asset. Now let's move on to the final part of our bot, adding the stop loss and take profit levels to the chart and setting up our automatic exits. The first step is to define the entry price. We will create a new variable called entry price and set it as a float. Then we will use a conditional assignment to update it. If we are flat in the market, meaning strategy.position size equals zero, or if there is a new long or short condition, the entry price will be set to the close of the current candle. Otherwise, it will keep the value from the previous candle. This ensures that the bot always keep track of the price where the position was opened. Then we'll create four new float variables to represent the levels of our stop loss and take profit. Two for long positions and two for short positions. Now it's time to assign values to those levels. For long trades, the stop loss will be placed below the entry price and the take profit above. For short trades, it's the opposite. The stop loss will be above the entry price and the take profit below. We will calculate each of these levels by subtracting or adding the previously calculated distance which we defined in pips earlier in the code. Now that the levels are ready, let's plot them on the chart. This is a very useful visual feature because it helps us instantly see where our stop losses and take profits are being placed. We'll use the plot function and apply some conditions so these lines are only visible when a position is active. And then we'll also style them, red lines for stop losses and green lines for take profits. And finally, we'll use the strategy.exit function to close our positions automatically. For the long position, we'll define both the stop and the limit prices using the variables we just created. We do the same for the short side, specifying the stop loss and the take profit values. These exits will not trigger whenever price reaches one of these levels. And just like that, you have created your first fully functioning automated trading bot in PineScript. From this point on, the sky is the limit. You can add other indicators like volume and filters, define trading sessions and create truly advanced systems. In fact, this is exactly how I started developing my own automated testing system, the ATP Indicators Testing Bot. What began as a simple concept has grown into a powerful engine capable of testing over 80 indicators automatically. It supports custom exits, filters, session control and so much more. If you are curious about how it works, I've put together a complete user guide with visuals and examples and you can download it for free on my website at algotradepro.com. And if you are ready to take your trading to the next level, you can join over 200 traders already using the premium indicators testing bot to refine and validate their strategies efficiently.
And now, here's a little bonus for those of you who stayed until the very end of the video. If you are new to the indicators testing bot and want to get started today, I'm offering an exclusive 50% discount to the first 20 people who use the code TB50 at checkout. This is a one-time offer and will only be available to the first 20 users, so don't miss it. And that's it for today. If you enjoyed this step-by-step -step and would like to see more videos where I show you how to automate different components of a trading strategy, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.